mind. Did you see me? I'm sorry. You I'm stepped really... on my shoes. Clean it. I'm really sorry. Clean it! You're saying sorry. And why would he do that? Was I talking to you? Yes, don't you then. If he stepped on her shoes, I guess it was purely a mistake. So she should take the sorry on it. Ijoma, you wouldn't want to get on my bad side this early morning. Of course, I would, and I want you to do your worst. James here is not going to clean any shoe. Who do you even think you are? Me? Yes, you. You're, 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 you're talking to me. Who am I? Are you crazy? Is what is going are you on crazy? There? Are you stupid? I just said, what is going on there? Oh, please, Miss Naomi, stop with all this over caring and overreacting, being so caring thing. Go to class and teach, and you. I will see you in class. And you, don't worry, wait for me. Ijoma, what is going on here? Miss Nami, there's nothing to worry about. You should go to your classes, please. several times not to be using your pants. I'm sorry, she got on my nerves. She wanted to flog me in class today. She wanted to flog you. You would have done something else. Not showing your pants. Those people like getting on my nerves all the time, mom. They don't mind their business. They don't mind their business. Eh? I've told you you should stop showing people your magical pants. It's not good. My God. Annabelle, please, you're making me talk too much. Please go. Oh, I'm sorry, you will not get any other reports about this again. But let them just mind their business, that's all. Because if they look for my trouble. Annabelle, this is a school, not a family house. This is a school, not a family. In fact, go, you're making me talk too much. Just go. And come back here. Respect yourself out there. I don't want any other report today. Oh yeah, out. Go. What is wrong with this? Eh? What is wrong? Why? So how are you feeling now? My dear, I'm really fine, but I'm okay. Gosh. How did she even do that? I can't really tell. The only thing I can say is that girl is a witch. <laughs> Definitely she is. And you know that after reporting to the principal, she didn't do anything. Like she didn't even punish her. <laughs> like you don't know that principal. 
I wonder how this school ended up in that woman's heart. Like, like. I wonder. <sighs> My dear, I need to go to the class now. The students are waiting for me. Just make sure you're better before I come back. And don't forget to visit the doctor. I will. Okay. All right. Thank you. See you. Since you've been avoiding me. That's because I've been busy. I know you've been busy, but please, it really hurts when you ghost me like that without even saying anything or wanting to see me. And you know how much I love you. Alex, if I am ghosting you or avoiding you, it's because I am busy. Alex, in this relationship, you have to run at my pace. If I keep ignoring you, it's because I am busy, okay? And this ignoring and avoiding you is going to come up again in the future, so you have to get used to it. Uh, well, well, this is something we could actually talk about. Let's find a way around it, please. Should we talk to you later? Go and sit at a place that I'm viewing like a lost puppy, Mr. Loverboy. And what does that make you? Spokeswoman. Oh, all right, Annabelle. Annabelle. Ah, Annabelle. Pascal. Pascal. I, I don't understand this thing, Pascal. Why is Annabelle treating me like this? What fun? Wait, wait, guy, I'm not wait, laughing. Wait, I'll Alex. Slap you now. Wait, Alex. For crying out loud. Are you trying to tell me that Annabelle have been the reason why you've been putting up this way? Gosh! Alex, for crying out loud, that girl is a rude, spoiled brat. Mm -mm. Oh. Pasca, Pasca, Pasca! For the fact that I talked to you about Annabelle doesn't mean you have to say any nonsense you like. Now, Pasca, don't try it. Watch your tongue. Alex, don't tell me that. Alex, I repeat, don't tell me that. Come on, man. Say, let me tell you something. That girl, Annabelle, doesn't suit you at all. Guy, I feel stuck in this by you. Guy, can you listen to me? Annabelle is a fucking rude girl. The worst part of it all is that she carries herself as if she is one Miss Ward. Guy, in case you don't know, let me tell you something. Did you know that everybody in the school sees her as a witch? You don't know, right? I bust your bubble. Pascal, this is how this is going to happen. Let me tell you how it's going to happen. If you continue talking about Annabelle in this manner, then I think we we'll just have to put a full stop to our friendship. <laughs> whoa! Yes. Whoa! Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Did I just hear you correctly? Putting a full stop to our friendship all because of a woman. Oh, all because of Queen Annabelle. Do you know what, my friend? The truth is bitter. Deal with it. Let me tell you, this will be the last time I'll tell you this thing. Whenever you decide to start thinking with this your sense and stop thinking with your back, you meet me in class. <laughs> Whoa! Alex! You were supposed to be the one here, and I was supposed to be the one in the class. I wasn't the one thinking. What is Alex? Is it the name of a teen animal place, or I don't even get it? Well, it's not your fault, bro. I was about going to the class too with you. You should be the one staying here. Excuse me, guys. Our first robot is out. So if I mention your name, you can't take us. And why will you miss now we give you our text to share? Ah, excuse me. Ah, uh, please, who scored the highest? Annabelle, of course. 
Or is anyone who has brilliant as she is? Will you shut up, Miss Right Hand Woman? What else do you know about aside following Annabelle up and down? I'm not even sure she's called up to 20%. That is if she's called 10% up to 10. Yes! See, let me tell you something. You can go out there and learn how to fix snow. Do you know why? Because school is not for everybody. Shut up! All of you! If I hear one more word from any of you again, I promise you I'll cut off your tongues. Nonsense. Just want to be alone. You love being alone or you don't like mingling with people? I prefer being alone, my book, me and my phone. They are mingling with people based on their dramas they normally Oh. Talking about drama, I heard what Annabelle did to you and I'm so sorry about that. Well, he's fine. Thanks for your care. Alright, you're welcome. I was heading to the school canteen. I don't know if you love to join me. Um, no. You can go ahead. What's up? Are you free after school? Why are you asking? Alright, fine. Nothing really, but I felt like probably we could hang out after school. Hang out? To where? Where exactly do you think you can take me to? <laughs> okay, fine. A friend of mine is having a birthday party today and probably we could sit and talk over a bottle of drink. Let's just be there for him too at the same time. Can you imagine? Can you even listen to yourself talk? Alex, you want to take your girlfriend out and you, you, you do not think of anywhere is your stupid friend's birthday party. Can you imagine? Did you not even think of any expensive place like expensive restaurant, expensive bar, or even amusement park? It's your stupid friend's birthday party that you want to take me to. Uh, Annabelle, can you just can you just calm down? You're blowing this thing out of Shut the Shut up! Why are you insulting me in public? You know I am only managing you, right? And I could end this whenever I want. You are disturbing me and I don't like it. I have told you don't come near me when I don't want. Annabelle. Uh, Annabelle, wait. Hey! Son of a bitch. What is that? What is that? I am not speaking for your friend. Yeah. Oh. Alex, that was really embarrassing. I want to be left alone. Come on, you can't continue like this. Annabelle is rude and proud for you. 
The embarrassment was just too much. She didn't deserve it. I deserved all of it. You know, I call her my girlfriend. I claim to love her. Yet, I can't give her anything really good. Can't take her out on any expensive dates. Can't buy her anything nice. Man, I'm unbelievable, so I deserve anything she throws at me. Are you for real, Alex? Yes. For Christ's sake, you are just a secondary school student depending on his parents' financial support. Juliet, you would never understand. You can never see it from my perspective. I already understand. Alright, fine, fine. You made your point. Can you go now? Okay, I can go. Just but go! But wait, let me tell you something. Love with your heart and not with your sins. You made your point. Hey, I know that's not. Oh, no, okay, okay, you go at me. Um, more please, I need you something. Okay. Mommy, you know our exams are coming. So, I want you to uh, talk to Miss Naomi about it. Maybe she could give you our SS2 password. So, mm -hmm. Thank you, Mommy. You know Mommy loves you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really smart. I'm going to have a message. Thank you. Yes, good morning. I'm looking for the principal's office. I'm a new student. Ah, okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, the principal's office is the, the other way. Where? If you just walk down this place, the next building, that one you're seeing there. That yellow one there? No, no, no. This, the roof, after this one, the next one, that roof there. Okay, okay. Right, thank you. You're I'm welcome. Sure. Right. Bye-bye. Okay. But looks good on you. You're right. Thank you. But meanwhile, the principal asked me to look for a uh, SS2B. I'm kind of lost. SS2B? Yes. Wow, that's my class. Oh, thank God. Okay, I, I was actually going to get something, but I will take you to the class first. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I can see we have a new student in class. Miss New Student. Please stand up and introduce yourself. Excuse me. Didn't you hear her? She said stand up and introduce yourself. And why will you come on like that? Are you the class teacher? I said you should stand up and introduce yourself to me. To you? Not even to the class teacher. Who is giving this girl mind? I should introduce myself to you. Are you the class teacher or the principal? If I am to introduce myself, I will do that when the teacher is around. Not to a little cricket like you. <laughs> Come on, girl, give it to her. Oh. <laughs> did anybody even tell this girl who I am? No, did somebody tell her who I am? <laughs> Young lady, you're a nobody, so sit your ass down. She <laughs> shut up. She, she just. Yeah, just, just she just did that. She just spoke to me like that. I'll deal with you in the school. We shall see a little cricket. <laughs> Come on, give me a Who is that girl? Why is she always feeling like a princess, like she's on top of the world? Annabelle. What? 
Annabel is the principal's daughter. She's so spoilt, arrogant, and full of herself. She's not that brilliant, but she has never failed any assignment, test, or even exam since she entered this school. Surprises me. Wow. So you mean nobody in this school, I mean this school, can put that silly girl in her place? Actually, everyone is scared of her because she has a spiritual power. She even uses it on fellow students and even teachers. What? She is saying? Hmm? I don't know. Everyone avoids her, but me, Joma, I don't avoid her. I always give her a piece of my mind whenever and however I want. Yes, that's the spirit. I actually like your kind of person. You're my kind of person too. I love the way you embarrassed her in the class today. Oh God, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Let's be friends. Wow, close friends you mean? Yeah, close friends. Mm, okay. Nice. Right. 